us in every city in between. I am Urban Girl from Urban Swain, and we are visiting Private Social today, and I'm standing next to the infamous Rocco's. Now, you know I am all about the margarita, and when I had a whiff of this thing, I had to come over and find out who made it and what's in it. Now, Rocco, this is the bomb diggity. Now, I see that it has a splash of some Grand Marnier dust. Uh, basically, I call that drink Margarita Interrupted, and it is it's too damn cool for words. <laughs> um, basically, what we did is I took uh, Grand Marnier and I completely dehydrated it. Um, and I've had so many people ask me, how the hell you dehydrate Grand Marnier? I always mm -hmm. say the same thing, magic. Uh, so, dehydrated Grand Marnier around the rim. Mm -hmm. uh, down here, I've got essentially lime spheres, uh, lime okay. zest, so it's, it's just lime juice. This is going to sound very, very geeky. I introduce a solution of sodium alginate and calcium lactate, and what that does is that allows that lime, fresh lime juice to solidify, uh -huh. gives you some nice texture behind the drink. Muddle up a little fresh strawberry, and uh, two ounces of reposado to keep it. Now so what I'm you have right there. Keep it going, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up so I can finish drinking it. Well, what you have right there is essentially a completely deconstructed margarita, strawberry margarita that Strawberry. has all the flavor, all the texture, and once it's all in your mouth, all, all together, all comes together. So what was your inspiration for creating this particular? Um, honestly, I, uh, I wanted to showcase a couple different techniques, and okay. spheres, spheres have been done, spheres have been done for a couple years in a lot of different places, so uh, spheres by no means are nothing new. Dust, in a lot of ways, are really starting to come on the scene, okay. especially out on the coast. I'm from California originally, uh, so I saw it a couple places out there. I used to live on the Jersey Shore, so a couple places up in New York, uh, I saw them doing some stuff. And uh, But nobody ever tells you how to do it. So I messed around with it for the past uh, you know six months or so, and then finally, I got it to work. Yeah. And uh, it was one of those things that, how can I showcase this technique, that right. technique, and do something that's presentable, something mm -hmm. that you've seen a hundred times before. Right. Who the hell hasn't had a margarita in the past right. week? Exactly. But I want to do something a little bit different, yeah. a little bit familiar, but too cool when you see it. It's really cool. Now, let me finish indulging in this. And I do have one more question, but I have got to finish this margarita. <laughs> <laughs> it's like calling my name. I'll say it here. And this is on video, so I can't take it back. Again, I am all about margarita. This is the best margarita I have tasted in the country. And you know we have been all over the world. You've heard it first from Urban Swain. Now, Rocco, last question I have for you. Anything else you got mixing? Any, any other concoction that you have that you want to share with all? you have that you're maybe going to show? I've, I've got more than I could possibly do. <laughs> I, I promise you, we can do this all night long. All right. Um, it just entirely depends on flavor, texture, mm -hmm. style, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. I've got a drink for it, so however you want it to work. You like a little spicy, we're doing a bottle fermented ginger beer here. Something we're doing in house. And literally, I'm ordering champagne yeast from an online brew store. We're doing a bottle fermentation of that. The difference between white bread and sourdough. Wow. All the difference in the world. Um, I'm doing something similar with that dust with Campari, so bitter Italian liqueur. No. I'm doing a really, really cool old fashioned. I've ordered it, uh, or the Pat Miller's got me a uh, ice machine that crushes ice into perfect spheres. And I'm using that as the base, doing the entire drink around that. And then we got one drink. <laughs> it's going to be the most popular drink, and it's going to kill me. It's named after our owner, Andrew, one of our owners, Andy Austin. It's called Andy Punch. Andy the Andy Punch. It's an ounce and a half coconut rum, ounce and a half tin cane, okay. and then it's got pineapple juice, lime juice, a little bit of simple syrup, and a pomegranate grenadine that I made with here in house. In house. All so right. it's fruity. It's a little bit sweet. Nothing that ever leaves my bar is not going to be balanced. So it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. But I die a little inside when I come out for it. <laughs> Because to me, punches have been classic, yeah. 16th, yeah. 17th century. Let's right. do something cool. Yeah. But it's going to be popular. Every, yeah. If you had one last night, you had three. Wow. One of those kind of drinks. Well, that is awesome. So I know all you out there are looking forward to coming and trying it. So make sure when you come visit Private Social, you stop by the bar and you try some of Rocco's best. Because best you believe, he has a lot of best. He's signing off. And remember, it's not just about the food. It's about the experience. And a drink.